welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing trades that were the first week of this year, 2022, that expired uh, January 7th for beginner. Now, I don't do this every week. This is a lot of work to go back and show beginner amounts, but I'm doing this for people so they can see if they have a smaller account, if they're risking a beginner size, what they can expect week over week over week. Because a lot of times people are asking me, do I need a big account to do this? The answer is no, but you have to look at your risk differently if you have a small account. This is common sense, but this is one of the reasons it's good to do this. And I'm trying to make the time to do this to help people to understand not only what they're capable of and how you can take a small account and grow it into a larger account, but also so that people, once they start and they're on the letter, they can do better uh, by thinking about these types of things and not uh, taking too much risk, okay? Which no one should take too much risk, actually. It doesn't matter if you have a big account or a small account. You should never take more risk than you can, can stomach, you know? And, it, and it's not just even the amount of size of the account that you have, it's emotionally and intellectually, like what you can take as far as your risk level. Everyone has a different point. Like if you're in 10 trades and you go to bed at night and you're not comfortable in 10 trades, you shouldn't be in 10 trades. You know what I mean? And sometimes I'll call a trade and they don't all go the same day. So you might be in things overnight. That's again, part of doing options. But the benefit is you can get large moves overnight. Why? Because stocks gap. So we're gonna go over it. Anyways, this is the first week of the year, 2022. Uh, you can always watch me on Fox Business, Fox News, and if you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So I do gaps. I use my Golden Gap strategy. It is not a prerequisite to do the Golden Gap course in order to sign up for the newsletter. However, I do think it helps. I have a real big mix of people now in the letter. Like I have people that signed up, started trading, and then did the class a year into it. I have people that did the class and then started doing options. I have people that have never done the class that are on the newsletter. So it's really mixed people. And as far as the risk, there's a mix of people doing that too. So I mean, it's, you know, there are people that are working full time and trading options. There are people that are in the trading room full time and doing options. I have a real good mix of, of lots of different types of people that are doing it. So you can make it work for you, whatever works for your schedule. But everything I do is based on my Golden Gap strategy. We go long, we go short, which is calls and puts. So let's talk about the beginning of the year. Anyways, for a beginner, and I'm, I'm just using an average risk of a thousand, obviously you can risk less, you know. So say you were a beginner, risking an average of 1,000 this first week, the win ratio was what? 67%, there were two winners, zero break-evens, one loser, and three trades. And there was one trade you couldn't do, which I have in here, which we're gonna go over. Beginner trader profits, 8,270, average return on investment, 287%. Again, this, is, this was actually a, a slow week, but remember it was the holiday, it was the beginning of the year. So again, these all expired Friday the 7th, okay? So at the end of the year, last year, we did the QQQ puts, the 400 puts that expired on January 7th. So I called this on the 29th. Let's find this here. Here, that day. God, that feels like a long time ago now. So there it is, okay? And then here was the drop. So here's the momentum. Again, a put is a short. So take it to the right. I did this slightly above, slightly above the strike, and then it fell down and in. And here's the move. So cost was 390. Three contracts, risk was 1,170, sold 18, profit 4,230, Return on investment, 362%. Exit was 1.6. Again, here is the momentum. So you could have get out here. You could have get out here. This is very unusual, but this is one day that you would have made the absolute most money actually holding it into the last day. Now, I don't think that that's something that people should do. Um, but again, you're never going to get out at the low of the day in a short. You're never going to get out the high of the day in a call. You can't risk the last day when it's up. 
some point between, you know, that week that it expires between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if you don't get out and you're up and then Friday goes bust, that's crazy. You lose the profit, you lose the risk. But in this case here, I just want to show you what it did the last day. This is crazy. So remember, this was a 400 puts. So it actually was $22 in the last day through the strike. So you would have made the most doing that, which is nuts. But I'm not saying that anyone should do that. And that was not the exit on this, but it was a really nice move. And you actually could have got out here. So when you're doing trades, you have to do what works for you. The whole idea and concept is momentum. We got the momentum. We also got the direction rate. Again, you had the volume. Down here's the volume and the timing. And the timing. That was a nice, that was the start of the year. Then this was the Tesla one I was talking to you about. Now this one is one that you could have done if you were a person that could take the risk, which I'm gonna go over, actually, let me show you here. I called this on the third, 1150, this was a call. This one you couldn't do. So this was one you would have done and got out if you had, if you would have been able to take the amount of the risk, okay? An advanced trader risk if you were risking an average of 4,000 a trade or more, but if you weren't, you couldn't have done it. And that's why I'm putting this in here so you could show this trade was called if you were a beginner with a thousand risk, you cannot take it. Why? If the trade would have lost, which it didn't, but if it would have, you would have had to take four trades just to come back break even. And that that's crazy. You can't do that. You have to adhere to some kind of risk rules. So anyways, couldn't do the trade on that one, but it did work. Um, let's talk about the SPY. Then I called the 40 calls in the SPY, one four here close your gap up this actually was up <laughs> actually this was up actually but I I mean if you scalped it you could have got out with profit but let's just go over at 480 um, it really it was a loser it didn't really have any momentum to it in my opinion theoretically you could have got out that same day though you could have taken and got out that same day but I just didn't think it made sense to, and I don't look to scout these trades, but the cost was cheap, 240, four contracts, was risk was 960, and you would have just played it out into the last day and see what it did. It didn't go anywhere. I'm gonna go back to the chart and show you. This was the fourth, here. So here's what happened. It never went right then. But again, it was up here at one point on this particular day. So some people might've got out of it. But actually, here's the seven, so you see? So it just, it kind of just never went right. And actually, it still wouldn't have, because we never got above this. We never got back to that point. In fact, I think even right now, without pulling up the chart, that was the previous high in the market, which was, let's look at the day, it was the fourth. Wow, that's more than a month ago. Then we did the Netflix. Again, one, four. Here's the drop, boom. This is a put. We did the 580s, nice trade, nice move. $5 was very reasonable for Netflix. Two contracts, 1,000 risk, sold at 30, profit 5,000 was a big trade. It's a big trade again. This may not, 500% return investment. This may not look like much, but it, but it was. Because <laughs> again, the 580s. Okay, so here's the day. What time did I call that? Oh, I called it in the afternoon. So here's the day, and then it went plop. You see, take it to the right. Again, this stock can move, but you see how big that was, you know, 40 points to the strike. And actually, here's another one. If you would have held it the very last day, it went even lower. But again, that's crazy with what this was, really, beforehand. Um, you've got to get out of it. But I mean, look at what it did even the last time because it was so far through the strike. And so again, it's the beauty of options is if you just get that direction right and you get that timing right, that perfect timing, I mean, you can really hit these things home. And, and this was just so nice. And again, this is a beginner account, you know? So if you're interested in signing up, you can sign up one year, 12 months, $6,999. Trades are emailed to you in live time. You must email me for sign up forms. And then I have the six month subscription as well, $4,999, a half annual, trades are emailed to you. 
If you would like to sign up, you can email me. If you want to start trading tomorrow, you can sign up today and start trading tomorrow. Literally, this is a subscription service. So it starts the second that you register and sign up. And again, if you have questions, you, you can, can call me and ask me questions. questions. You, you can email me. I just, I just had, had a long email today, today from someone. I answered all of his questions. So, you know, feel free to pick up the phone. I think talking to the phone is easier, but you can email me too. And some of you I know are in different time zones and countries. So uh, we do, you know, focus on Eastern time zone because those are the hours of market 930 to 4. But most of the trades are sent in the free market, although some are during the day, like you saw here. You can get prepared in the pre-market, then you get them into the open. And again, if you can watch them, you watch them. And if you can't, then you can put a sell order, it's a day order, cancel order for it to fill you. It's better if you can watch where it's going, you watch the targets, uh, but you have an idea what works for you. But this is just to show you the results that you can have, and you don't have to even do these things that are out of your price range. Like you wouldn't do something that costs $39 for one. If it doesn't work for you, you do what works for you. If you have questions, email me. Again, annual subscription is $69.99. It's one year, so we're taking it to 2023. Have a great day, everyone, and email me with questions.